Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the first. Yeah, right around the first. We're gonna see what happens. What do we have for around the first? We're just gonna get a couple of these. This is my new deck. If you want to purchase it, the link is in the description box below. What do we have for a message today? Keep in mind, timing is fluid. An invitation is coming. You've been ignoring your gut. Well, let's get one more. Somebody's been ignoring their gut about something. Angel protection. Angels are trying to give somebody a message and it's being ignored. An invitation is coming. Stop worrying about it. Whatever this is that you're worried about, it's coming. What do we have for a message today? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a very confident energy, determination. Strength, courage, patience. There's a need to be patient. Things are about to blossom by the looks of things. I think that we have a positive change coming. Action, I do believe, is going to be taken. Enlightenment. Death. Tower. Okay, so we do have a change that is coming. This is going to be a surprise, okay? Um, the tower is a fated event, okay? There's a fated event that has enlightened somebody, an ending. Somebody is has experienced an ending. They have or they are about to in the extremely near future. Okay, if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen extremely soon. And I keep saying extremely. It's going to be extreme. It is going to be extreme. There's going to be a change. Endings lead to new beginnings. Somebody has been waiting for an invitation from somebody. The invitation has not come because maybe somebody needed time alone. They needed time to heal. They needed time to reflect on their plan, on their future, re-identify themselves. But I do believe that action is about to be taken. Somebody needed time to heal after a death, okay, after an ending. If the ending hasn't happened, it's going to happen soon, okay? Um, there's going to be, or there has been, I think it's, it's, if it's, if it could be happening right now, this tower, that could, because it's, this is kind of, it's kind of like in the past, but it's also in the now position. So it's, if it hasn't happened yet, it's happening, okay? It's going to be happening. Um, giving deep thought to a relationship. Somebody is giving deep thought to a relationship and they're going back and forth on it. They keep going back and forth. And there's fear of change. There's fear of rejection. There's fear of growing old alone. There's fear of, of, of opening up. I do believe somebody has become enlightened because of an event, because they got themselves into a false sense of security. But that's over now, and they are, they've been thinking and they've been reflecting on everything that has happened. We have a very strong individual here who um, has been waiting. They have been waiting for something, waiting for this invite. This is somebody that... Uh, has been focusing on their health, focusing on themselves, you know, being patient. So we have a very patient individual. And maybe this patient individual has been a little stressed. Even though, you know, they're waiting, you know, waiting and waiting and waiting, there's stress involved with that. 
I think we have somebody here that has been depressed, they've been stressed out, they've been having a hard time sleeping, and they because they've they they things have been a little off, right? It's been lonely. Somebody's been lonely, you know, they've been feeling really alone waiting for this invitation or offer to come. But it's coming. It is. There is a new beginning coming. Whoever uh, wasn't coming because they had just experienced some sort of chaos in their life, some sort of upheaval, you know, and when you go through something that is that big, it's a major event. When you go through something that major, you do need time out to reflect. If this event has not happened yet, it is coming and somebody is going to need to take a time out to reflect on uh, whatever has happened. Something is crumbling could be crumbling really, really, really fast. It's a false sense of security. It's a false foundation. Somebody could be getting thrown out or they've gotten thrown out, you know, and it's caused them to wake up. But this is a rude awakening. It is a rude awakening. Somebody has gotten a rude awakening. Um, somebody is going to be an att attending. They are going to be attending an event. Okay, and I feel like at this event, you know, they may, re they may, um, get some sort of wake up call at this event, which is interesting. Um, we do have somebody that is about to come out of hiding. They've been thinking a lot giving a lot of thought to a partnership. I already said that. With somebody that they are very attracted to. We have Virgo. We have Scorpio a couple times. We have Aquarius. We have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Action is definitely about to be taken. Somebody gets, has this vision. They've thought about it quite a bit. They have. They've lost a lot of sleep. Somebody has lost a lot of sleep. And I think they're being guided. I think there's angel protection. I think there's angel guidance. And I think the angels have been poking them. You know, basically trying to get them through their intuition to take action. Action is about to be taken. This could be a shock. Somebody is going to be receiving an invitation that is going to absolutely surprise them. This invitation leads to a new beginning. It may be risky. Take the risk. Take the risk. I feel like... Uh, There's, it's like there's an invitation that is coming from, from somebody that is very, very wise. This person has reflected, they've thought about it. Now they're going to, they're going to invite somebody to do something and there's a need to, to, to take a risk. There's a need to take a risk, but I feel like, I feel like there's, uh, unsurety, right? This is, this is, um. unstable, you know, unclear. What do I do? Should I or shouldn't I? Should I? Should I or shouldn't I? Should I do it or shouldn't I? I think that somebody is being guided to make a choice. But there's there's fear, right? I mean, the 9 of swords reverse that is giving deep thought. Somebody may not have good intentions. Somebody may also be guided to uh, go but go their own way. I guess you just got to be honest. Because the hermit can be a loner, somebody that chooses to be alone rather than be in a false sense of security. There could be a breakup here that leads to a new beginning and brings somebody together with somebody that is more exciting, more adventurous, more, uh, 
enthusiastic, more positive, a more positive energy. I do think that somebody is headed in a more positive direction, but it's after an ending, okay? It is definitely after an ending, so we do have a, a change that is coming. I gotta, I gotta clarify this Two of Pentacles reversed. A Two of Pentacles reversed is overwhelmed. Somebody is overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed with what, what to do. They, it's like they're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It may cost them some money. It may cost them some money to leave a situation. Oh, we got two, six of cups and the eight of swords. This is reevaluating, absolutely. Somebody is removing an obstacle and it is fear. Some, and it's also restrictions. Somebody has been confined. They have been trapped in a situation. They've been in mental turmoil, but they're removing that fear. They are. And this is removing fear. This is fearless energy as well. We have somebody here that is replacing their fear. They're letting go of their fear. And they're ha they're reminiscing about their past. They're reminiscing. They're they're uh, thinking. They're opening up. They're about ready to open up. They've been in hiding. They've been reevaluating. They've been thinking. They've been coming up with a plan, and but they're overwhelmed. Somebody is overwhelmed. But the obstacle is being removed. That obstacle of fear is going to be removed. This is the future. This is this is stepping outside of the comfort zone. Somebody is going to be definitely stepping outside of their comfort zone. There could be, I'm not sure if there's a reconciliation here. This is... Uh, you know, we got the Knight of Swords. This is a sudden arrival. Or a, it could be a sudden arrival, it could be a sudden departure. This is somebody that is throwing their heart into a situation, putting plans in action. There's going to be a need to think fast as well. We have somebody here that is is now focused. They are not going to let fear get in the way. Definitely, action is about somebody's rushing in. They're in a hurry. This is somebody that um, wants to be ahead of the rest. I feel like there's some sort of communication coming. This is very truthful, honest communication. This is somebody that is definitely letting go of their fear and they're going after something that they are very attracted to. They are because there's a lot of attraction here. This is a very decisive individual. It feels like the decision there's, there is being made. It's like the, there was a feeling of being overwhelmed. Somebody may have been held back by memories of the past. You know, this is held back by the past, you know, and that's why they didn't move forward. Well, this is fast forward movement. Things are about to change, and I think things are going to change really, really, really fast. Somebody has been ignoring their gut. They have not been taking action. And it was because of fear. Well, that fear is dissipating. We have somebody that has become enlightened by a false sense of security. This has caused them to have a rude awakening. It feels like now they know what they want and there's no time to waste. This has been thought about. It has. It's been thought about a lot.
somebody is rushing in. There is no stopping this person. They have made up their mind. They know what they want. It took them a while. It did take them a while. And I feel like it took them a while because, because they had been in a situation that wasn't over yet. They were in something that was false that wasn't over yet. And they, can, they couldn't do both. So anyway, an invitation is coming. There is news that is arriving as well. There is news that is arriving. Well, same kind of thing. Invitation, news. There could also be some reminiscing going on. We, we, I'm going to change the story a little bit. We may have somebody here that is making a getaway. Okay, they're making a getaway. They're leaving something behind where they've been trapped. They've been in prison. They've been confined. They've been restricted. Restricted. That obstacle, it has been removed or is being removed. And they're getting out and they're getting out quick. It's like running away from this prison towards something more positive, more fertile. It's been thought about and it's time. Good luck.